part of this. Down here on the... With the coochie. <laughs> with with the coochie. Spider here. And uh, with Florida Trailblazer and Expedition Miranda. Hello. It might be a little bit of a swamp shower today, but that's okay. It cools it off. We're on a big old Indian mountain on the river right now. Pretty cool. Hey, yo. It. So see all the layers of shells there, built up over long periods of time. You can see, go all throughout the mound here. What do you think of all these layers of shells here? It's pretty wild. It's uh, it's really neat to see this cross section of a mound like this. Incredible. I mean, look up in there. You see the layers of them just built in there. And the shells even growing into the root system. So these shells that we're seeing here actually make for great building materials, which is why you see a lot of the early Florida roads were built from these shells. A lot of shell mining in Florida. And a lot of these mounds were dug up for the shells to build roads. Yeah, so these mounds were built over hundreds and thousands of years. I was telling you about the, like at least 500 years ago when DeSoto was coming through here in their expedition. They visited some of these same areas along the river and they encountered the tribes along here. And you might have heard of the town Ocala, Florida, or Ocala. Well, the Ocala Indian tribe inhabited some of these areas along the river. So it's really fascinating to be out here and see some of the mounds that they used. And they were actually larger back in those times too, so. I'm here exploring with Blake and Miranda. And I wanted to ask you about your photography. Now you both study photography together. Yep. That's actually how we met. Yep, and you sometimes do some work together. Yep, we'll do some jobs together. We will do weddings and stuff together. That's our jam. What's your Instagram page? I know you're on Instagram. Yes, I am. Um, Expedition Miranda Photography. Awesome. That's me. I am now in Nashville. I was in Florida, but I work in both places really, and um, try to keep try to keep business flowing down here as well as starting something new up there. But. Uh, any excuse to come down to Florida and do some trailblazing is good for me. That's awesome. What kind of stuff do you like to shoot on your photography? So typically I like to do uh, portraits a lot with people. Working one-on-one -on -one is probably my favorite just because it's you can it's more intimate. Um, but weddings are really fun. And we have a lot of fun doing weddings together. Um, but I also like... I do like going out in nature and taking some landscape. That's kind of just what I work on for myself, really. Just working on landscape stuff for me. That's awesome. Sounds like you do a lot of great work and, and seeing a lot of great places, <laughs> taking amazing photos. I try and to keep it <laughs> keep it interesting. Never <laughs> be too sure. See this rock here, it's fossilized, all these shells. That's how old this is. Really neat, huh? Very cool. And if you look up here, you can see how tall this mound was. It was taller at one time, but you can see even today it's still pretty tall. So we made it all the way up to the top where we were just looking at the inside of the mound on the bottom and we must be 15, 20 feet up off the river, and apparently it was much higher in the past as well. You see a lot of limestone in these areas, and limestone was used by these Native American Indians that inhabited these places long ago. Utilize the limestone as a resource to make tools and weapons. But we're walking along this area here, it's part of a mound formation. Lakes over there on part of the mound. Mound on the mound. You were talking about you like some of the ranching history. Yeah. And uh, at one time there actually was a ranch in this area during the late 1800s into the early 1900s, sometime around then. I'd like to go back then and check it yeah. out. I'm a total horse girl, but I have no horses. <laughs> well, there have been a lot of horses out here then, livestock. Right. Yeah, he 
personally out here raised oranges and uh, livestock. Out here deep in the woods, and just ahead of us is a large mound. Part of this complex area that once existed in this part of the wilderness. What do you think of this formation here? You can certainly see that one popping out of the forest. It's got some size. It's huge. Yeah. Let's take a look at this mound. What do you think of this oak tree? It's a pretty wild assortment of trees here. The way it's growing out of the mound. And like you said, there's actually another tree there on the mound. You can see the roots. You're sitting in a place where ancients would have sat long ago. That's a nice seat there. Right here. That's the seat. Right here along the river, a beautiful place. And you can see on the surface of this area by the river, by this mound, some pottery fragments. What do you think of these, Blake? There's quite a few pottery fragments down here. It's Evidence from the past. Pretty interesting. Yeah, and these pieces of clay pottery, we can also see a lot of limestone in the area, so the natives would have utilized the limestone to help temper the clay pottery and you can see the different textures and colors in the, the pottery too. Seeing some more pottery fragments here on the mound and Lakey found some kind of tool or possibly part of an arrowhead. I'm not sure. It's interesting. Yeah this one here looks looks like a chert kind of material. Okay. And it's definitely looks tooled so I would have to guess some type of, of cutting or drilling or...